In this video, I'm going to show you how to add a description to the description field inside of Jira. As you know, this is not a custom field, it's an out-of-the-box field, and it's actually rather tricky to be able to do this. Special shout out to Vincent who helped me with the discovery of this functionality, and I'm really, really excited to now show this video to everybody else. Are you tired of manual backups when it comes to Jira Cloud? If you've ever tried to backup Jira Cloud, then you know that it's not the most intuitive thing in the world. Well, let me introduce you to Rewind Backups for Jira Cloud. This app is made by my good friends over at Rewind, and it basically automates your backups in Jira Cloud. Now, it takes a few minutes to set up, and after that, you can enjoy manual or automated backups, and your data will never be lost ever again. Use the link in the description below to start a free trial. If you haven't already, please consider subscribing to the channel. Drop a like if you get value out of this video. And if you have any questions, comments, or concerns, let me know in the comment section down below. Now let me explain the problem set a little bit more to you. If you create a custom field in Jira, you can go and do two things. You can add default values into that field. So that means that when somebody goes and pulls up Jira, the field's already pre-populated. We're not gonna be doing that in this video. The other thing that you can do is that you can put a description of what that custom field does. And essentially this will show you a little bit of subtext below the field that essentially tells you what this field is for. Now you can do this out of the box with all of the custom fields that you create, but doing it to the default fields, the ones that come shipped with Jira, that's a whole different story. And so in this video, I'm gonna show you exactly what I'm talking about, and I'm gonna show you how to achieve this, what I thought was impossible task, but again, special thanks to Vincent for leading us down this path of discovery. And now the whole world gets to benefit from this amazing discovery. So let's jump into Jira and take a look. All right, so inside of the world of Jira, let me first describe the problem. So when you go to a field and you have a custom field, and it can be any custom field in general, you have the option to add like a little, little question, a little information that will show people what this field is for. But when you try to add it to the description over here, it's not possible because there is no return in the custom field search for the description field. And let me prove that to you. So if you click on the gear and you go down to issues and you come down to custom fields, you can essentially look up any custom field that you have. So this acceptance criteria is a really good one. And I can come over here to the right hand side of this field, click on these ellipses, click on edit details, and then I will be able to add, this is my description. And when I click update, and now when I go into a project that has this field, I'm gonna simply go into this one here, when I click the create button, and you're gonna see that once I find my set this criteria field, that this is my description. As a Jira admin, we've all been there before. Our users go in and hit delete on an issue. And even though Jira tells them, hey, once you delete this, it's gone. It's gone forever and there is no undoing it. And yet they still click on that red button and that Jira issue is deleted. Only moments later to have a change of heart and then ask you as a Jira admin to, hey, can you restore that issue that I just deleted? So you know that that's really not possible, but let me introduce you to Rewind Backups for Jira Cloud an app made by my good friends over at Rewind. Now you'll be able to restore deleted issues. So even though your users don't follow the warnings that Jira gives them, rest assured that using Rewind Backups for Jira Cloud, you'll be able to bring back those deleted issues. Use the link in the description down below to start a free trial. Now, if I try to do this, because this is essentially what I'm trying to achieve in this video, if I try to add this type of information to the description field, you're gonna notice that it's not possible because when I go over back to my custom fields and I go and search in custom fields for that description, it will not come up. Description is a default field. It doesn't actually show up here. So I thought up until this week that this was not possible, that this was not a doable thing inside of Jira and then you cannot add helper text, if you will, to the description field. But boy, was I wrong. Boy, 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 was I wrong. And in this video, we're gonna be showing you how to do this. So in order for this to work, you're gonna to wanna to go to the default field configuration for your project. Now, I wouldn't worry too much because the default field configuration is usually universal. Most teams don't alter this unless you are a special case, 
right? But most teams are just going to be able to click on default field configuration. But I do want to warn you with this though, right? Because most teams only use the default field configuration. This means that what I'm about to show you is going to replicate across all of your teams. So if you don't want this to happen, if you don't want all the projects and all the different issue types to have this helper text, you're gonna then wanna create a new field configuration and potentially a new field configuration scheme and put them in there. But again, those are topics for a different video. I'm just gonna simply show you how to add that helper text in the description field. So I'm just gonna go into the default one because I don't particularly care for this video and I'm gonna look up description. And now once I look up the description field, you're gonna notice that it's gonna pop up right here and I'm gonna click on edit. When I click edit here, this is now where I can type in, this is my description, two or one. And when I click update, and now when I go click the create button, under my description, now you can see this field. And this is super interesting, but I want you to keep in mind a couple of different things. One, that if you do what I just told you and you don't follow my guidance on create new field configurations and schemes and whatnot, then just accept the fact that when you do this, every project that leverages that field configuration is going to have this helper text visible. So if you don't want that, you're gonna wanna go down the route of creating a new field configuration and applying it to either the issue type or to that entire project. That's all up to you. Number two, you can also get creative here. You don't have to just put text. You can actually put hyperlinks to Confluence maybe with some instructions on how to populate these fields. So you can be a little creative there. And I just wanted to show you because I thought this was really interesting. For many, many years, I thought that this was an impossible task. And again, special thanks to Vincent who led me down this path of discovery to try to figure out how to do this. And then we were able to figure it out. Is your company looking for a compliant backup solution for Jira Cloud? Then look no further than Rewind Backups for Jira Cloud made by my good friends over at Rewind. Rewind is proudly SLC2 compliant and data is encrypted in transit and at rest using TLS 1.2 and AES 256. Crush your security and compliance requirements and get started with a free trial of Rewind Backups for Jira Cloud. Use the link in the description down below. That's it for this video. If you did enjoy it, do make sure you smash the subscribe button. This video is part of the Summer of Elasting 2.0 and we're almost there. We're almost at the end and we can only get to those 10,000 subscribers with your help. So make sure you smash the subscribe button now. Make sure you drop a like if you enjoyed the video. And if you have any questions, comments, or concerns, let me know in the comment section down below. And before you close out this video, do make sure you check out the link in the description down below. There's many, many different ways for you to be able to support the channel. And you're going to find all that information in the description of this video. Thanks, and I'll see you in the next one. I love the chase and the hunt, and I set the pace when I'm running. I always take what I want, and I always give it 100. Don't need